This is Roger Struckoff with Syscon TV, and we are at Cloud Expo New York, believe it or not, in the year 2015. And I'm joined uh, right now by Pat Adamiak, who is with Liaison Technologies out in Silicon Valley. And welcome to the show, and welcome to Syscon TV, Pat. And tell us um, a little bit about the company and what it does in the cloud and why you're here at Cloud Expo. Okay, thanks. Uh, we've been around since 2000. We were born as a B2B integration player, uh, and but born in the cloud. So we're not one of these on-prem software development tools that's trying to get to the cloud. Uh, so we do data integration for customers, B2B, also application to application, and we do data management and enable big data. So think about when you're trying to do big data with Hadoop, how do you get clean data? How do you get data from multiple sources, social media, your ERP system, uh, so that you can do things with it uh, with analytical tools? Yeah, I was. Uh, there was a panel earlier today that I believe will be eventually broadcast uh, with someone from Liaison who was talking about that. And we started talking about structured data versus unstructured data in Hadoop and some of the um, other um, things that are going on. But what do you find with your customers in terms of sort of traditional structured data and then all the wild and crazy stuff that's coming because of big data and the IOT and cloud? Well, there's a wide variety, as you expect, because we have thousands of customers. But on the leading edge, they're looking at ways to uh, get key insights. For example, one firm is actually combining what they're hearing about social media, uh, about their company with their on, their internal systems in terms of what they've learned uh, on customer support to get a total picture of the customer. So unstructured data, it could be something like Facebook, what are they saying, or Twitter. And how do you compare that with what you've got about the customer in your Salesforce automation system, right? So unstructured is a big word. It actually describes yeah. a whole lot of different things. And with your customers, and say this one in particular, if you'd like, uh, what, what sort of learning curve do they have? How much do you have to help them accomplish what they want to accomplish? How much do they like to try to achieve on their, more on their own? You know, it seems like there's a lot of uncharted territory here. Uh, there, there absolutely is. And the customers we work best with, best with uh, on the leading edge stuff are ones that are willing to partner with us. And in general, because we are a cloud delivered total solution, customers that are not they're very interested in just doing it themselves and not partnering and not learning from any outside or tend not to be good prospects for us. So typically we'll partner with something leading edge and, and we learn together, we bring tremendous expertise, we customize our cloud solution to what exactly they want to do. Uh, and I, I think we both contribute a lot to the, the joint learning. As a company that was born into the cloud um, without, you know, do you find that to be completely a great thing with customers in terms of this is how software is delivered today, this is how things do, or do you still face a little skepticism because there's still a lot of legacy thinking and technology out there. You know, when you approach customers, um, you know, how, how do you convince them that, you know, maybe you can address their, their past um, legacy architecture or, or is it something where they're just approaching you. How does that work? Well, in the last few years, you've seen a real shift yeah. that a few customers are saying, not cloud, not ever. Yeah. It tends to be they know cloud is something to deal with, but they feel uncomfortable about going to it now, or maybe not in this project, which is typically how most of us deal with things we don't really want to do. Uh, but in general, much more open, and some of the old arguments about security, compliance, have really fallen by the wayside. I mean, if you look at a lot of these uh, examples of recent major security breaches uh, in IT departments, a lot of those have been in customer-owned data centers. So just because it's in the cloud, uh, it's all about how you do security and how you do compliance. It's just, uh, it's just another way to do things. To, um, to make your current customers happy and to convince people that still may be skeptical, what are the top two or three reasons that companies should be talking to liaison about doing business? Uh, so the top reason is we're a cloud-based provider, which gives you time to value. 
advantages. You can get your your project implemented much faster. Uh, we also have great deal of expertise from over 5,700 integration projects. Uh, and we deliver it as a fully managed service. So, so you get the people, process, and technology is captured the learnings from all that uh, to really take you up the learning curve faster and allow you to delegate some of the w work we have expertise so you can focus on Sorry. adding more value close to your business. We've been sitting here with Pat Adamiak at Liaison Technologies. Give us the URL. How do they contact you? www.liaison.com. Well, that's a nice one. That's the way to do it. Thank you much for joining us. Thank you for watching. For Syscon TV, this is Roger Struckoff.